Yo, what up world? It's your boy Jay Sin and this is up for discussion. Today I got such a treat for you. I sat down with four of the best commentators on YouTube recently and asked them what they think makes a good commentator. So I want you guys to sit back, relax, and enjoy and let's get right into it. So without further ado, the first commentator is about to step up to the mic and let you know what he think makes a good commentator. What's up everybody? Azure Effect Blue Underground is the channel. You can check it out through gameplay, commentary, discussion topics, whatever. I get back to my subscribers. I love interacting with friends, subscribers, YouTube, video makers, whatever. Get at me. That's right, world. Your boy Azure Effect is in the house. So Azure, man, let the people know what you think makes a good commentator. Basically, man, I think the best commentators uh, connect with people. Uh, from charisma, from a uh, charismatic standpoint, uh, the gameplay can be good. But if you're if you're commentating over it and you are basically not connected with your audience, then you're not going to draw people in. So basically, I say uh, charismatically connecting to your audience makes you a good commentator. Uh, on top of that, it depends on your content of what you're speaking about as well. Okay, yeah, man, uh, I agree, man. The same thing for me, like. I know the top things that I rely on when I think somebody's a good commentator is like their personality, like you said, charisma definitely plays a part, and then discussion content. Cause like I tell anybody, like uh, most of the time when I watch gameplay footage, I won't even watch like the actual gameplay. I just pretty much like had a video plan, listening to the audio, yeah. and doing something else on my computer. And it's just yeah. like if you're able to keep my attention doing that, then you got me. You know what I'm saying? Either you funny, you yeah. saying something, telling an interesting story, or whatever. If if you're able to hold my attention without me even having a visual, I mean, I think that says a lot. You know. And see, one of the things, um, one of the people out there that's probably the best at that, and shout out to him, is Jay Easy. Like, when you turn on a Jay Easy video, he, he's either going to make you turn the volume down because of his intro, you know, <laughs> he's going to grab you because he says something funny within the first 10 seconds of that video being on. And that's something that's really important because. I think it was Diddy or somebody that said you have like five seconds to you know grab your audience. Yeah, you do. And Jeff Easy does that right off the bat. <laughs> exactly, man. But that's good Shut though. Up. You know, it's like it's like it's his actual personality. I think that's the best thing about it is yeah. that he's not pretending to be somebody that he's not. All right, like, right. And see, that's one of the things. If you you know just be yourself, people will be uh, naturally drawn to that, as opposed to you, you know, just trying to be what somebody else is doing on YouTube just be yourself and then people will be attracted to it and if not then they're not man. and you can't appeal to everybody you know no, you can't it's just like life man where not everybody gonna be your friend not everybody gonna like you. right and it's like they don't have right. to <laughs> exactly know? it's like you, you know you're not gonna make everybody happy you're not gonna please everybody so the best thing to do is basically you know make sure that if you're doing a channel that you're doing it and you enjoy what you're doing because if you don't enjoy what you're doing then it becomes work more so than an enjoyable hobby that's good stuff Azura man thanks for stopping by and sharing your wisdom with the people next commentator on deck step up to the mic and let the people know you in the building yo 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 what's up everybody uh, we got C Nasty here that's right the boy C Nasty's in the house and he about to let y'all know what he think is a good commentator let him know C Yo, 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 what is up, my people? Um, real quick, I just want to get into a couple things that I see in commentators and why I subscribe to them. And uh, one of the main things I look at a commentator is basically, like, kind of like a, a, a basketball player or an athlete. I check and see if they're, like, all around. Like, they cover all the different aspects. Like, you can be creative. You can be real. You can be, like, informative. There's so many different things you can be. And I like, I, like, I like commentators that are creative. You know, for example, Frog the Barber and all that. And then, you know, people that are just real and... You know, they, they just keep it all around, got different skills, they can talk to you, you know, you see different things of, about them, and that's what I kind of try and do on my channel, so when I see other people doing that, that's definitely a, a sub for me that I that I want to go and check them out, so that's kind of like what I do to check out commentators, and that's different aspects of what I think commentators, you know, should be doing and what I look for in, in the commentating. I think the biggest part that plays a role for me personally is, like, personality. Exactly, that's another aspect, I mean, you know, like, just the realness, the personality, 
Yo. You can just you can tell from the commentary, you know, and you can also tell the creative side. It's almost like like you build a, a full on character, not just one dimensional. Yeah, everyone has like their own character, and if you take it for what it is, you know, you grow to like it. You know, that's one of the key mistakes. Like I see a lot of people that not, and they're like, oh, check out my videos, and they have like 200 subs, and they ask why. I'm like, you know, honestly, like they all start sounding the same. You gotta make your own character and do, you know, do you, and people yeah. people will find you. You know, they'll see they'll see what you're about. Yo, that's right. See, I agree with you completely. Well, people, that's two commentators down. We got two to go. Next commentator, step up to the mic and say what's up to the people. It's me, Hard Eight Time. What's happening, people? True for you two. <laughs> That's right, it's none other than the boy Hard 8 times. I bet y'all didn't see that one coming, did ya? Hard 8, let them know what you think makes a good commentator, boy. Basically, what I think makes a good commentator is somebody that's entertaining. To me, it's somebody that's entertaining and they talking about something that I want to hear. Mm -hmm. Like, every commentator that I watch, they don't, you know, everybody's not, you know, hyped or, uh, funny or anything like that you feel what i'm saying some yeah. people or just uh you know they're just regular but they talk about something i want to hear you have to be entertained you can't be bored yeah you feel what i'm saying at least if you're not like like hyper or funny then at least be talking about something that you know the people want to hear basically be more informative or whatever like that i don't watch videos for tips and tricks so i kind of skip those type videos i don't really need off I don't need no tips or nothing yeah. like that. I'm just gonna play how I play but you gotta be entertaining. Yeah like like I said like I, I was I, I watched Woody's damn attack and he ain't really entertaining he just mm -hmm. very informative. You feel okay. What I'm saying? Yeah. As far as like not real funny and you, you don't be sitting there laughing and all that you feel what I'm saying but he just he just give you good uh you know good information and shit like that. So I like watching his videos and he do different shit I like uh you know like to see but um yeah man as far as me I just try to be uh I just be myself mm -hmm. you either gonna like it or you're not you know what I'm saying plus me as a commentator I treat people the way I want to be treated so, I just speak my mind man I that's know it. that's <laughs> why I want to be buddy buddy on YouTube and don't want to let nobody know they might see something they don't like and ignore it and all that just because it's YouTube yeah you know what I'm saying but I don't know man I'm just that ain't me man Especially I mean, if it deal with me, I'm gonna say something. So much change from YouTube to in the real world. How you acting on YouTube is probably how you act in real life. Exactly. You know so exactly. unless you, unless when you turn on the camera, you you a new character or something yeah. like that. Unless you faking. Yeah, you, you know acting out roles and stuff. <laughs> That's why people like El Presidor is so big. Because yeah. you really can't believe a grown man really acts like this. You yeah. <laughs> gotta be a character. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. It gotta be. And he always tell you all the time, this is entertainment. I entertain the people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Al Prez, he's funny as shit. He's cracking me up. Well, so far, you had the pleasure of having the Zora Effect see Nasty and Hard Eight Time kick some actual factuals with you and let you know what they think makes a good commentator. So that means we only got one commentator left. Maybe some of y'all caught the hint. Maybe some of you didn't. I can't really introduce him because this man introduces himself better than anyone else could. So without further ado, introduce yourself, brother. What up, YouTube? You know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy, Shake. It's going down as usual. I'm here with my man up for discussion. I'm going to do this little talk about what makes for a good commentator and how to step your game up. Ah, Shake, I like that, man. How to step their game up, man. Let's let's take a pause for a minute, Shake. Before we even let them know what you think makes a good commentator, explain to the people why they can step their game up, brother. You you know, there's people out there that they don't they they're always being told just be yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And don't copy somebody else. That is true, hundred percent. But at the same time, be a better you. Yeah. You understand what I mean by when I say be a better you? If Michael Jordan was just being himself when he when he's playing his his brother and would lose to his brother and just say, you know, I'm just being myself, man. That's yeah. that's the best I can be. Yeah. He would have never become who he became. Yeah. The true epitome of greatness. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to be a better you. Yeah, you're right. As a commentator, 
and you're trying to get your voice out. A lot of times people say, well, you don't want me to be like, you don't want me to be like Jay Easy or Presidor. That's 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 their style. They're they're loud and and they're they're um extravagant. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And you don't want me to be like C Natters and Hutch. They're a little bit more laid back and, and quiet and relaxed and those are the biggest guys on YouTube. You don't want me to be like them. You tell me to just be myself. Yeah. I'm not just telling you to be yourself. Yeah. Be a better you. Yeah. Saying take yourself to the next level. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes a good commentator is when you decide you want to get better. You know, you can get better. So yeah. the thing is, you have to make that decision soon enough to become a better commentary commentator. Yeah. Like I said before, mm-hmm. you want to be a better you. You know what I'm saying? Just, just. Don't be somebody else. Be yourself, but be a better you. Yeah. Take yourself to the next level. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. Number two, y- you have to kind of like love doing it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because the first time a troll goes on to one of your videos and he says some dirty mess on there, that's the first time you're gonna get some heat. You're gonna take that so hard. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You're gonna be, oh my god, I can't believe what this guy said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just have to realize it's your channel. You could delete the comment. Mm-hmm. It's only been up for 15 minutes. Get rid of it. Nobody sees it. Bam, that guy's gone. Exactly. Block him. You don't have to deal with him. But the idea is just love what you do. Yo, Shake, you definitely gave the people some great tips on how they can step their game up. Now let the people know, what do you think makes a good commentator? My take on what makes a good commentator. I think like number one, you have to be original. You know, you don't want to try to take somebody else's style because you know you want to be just like them a lot of the best commentators out there that grow very very quickly um are very original you know they're very genuine they don't sound and act like nobody else and um they're not trying to be anybody else they're just being themselves and that's just who they are and again that goes into being a better them number two i think that you have to have a clear like a very clear and precise message i think that if you if you speak well and you have a clear voice and you have precision you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like you're dropping a bomb on people and you want to make sure that that bomb hits them right there. I did a video. It was kind of, some people think it was controversial, but it wasn't. It was a lesson to be learned. It's called Who's a Nigga Now? Oh, yeah. And in that video. Yeah. I love that video. <laughs> yeah. And that video, it may seem like I was just telling a story, but it was a definite, definite purpose. And keep in mind, like, that's a, probably another another thing is when you're when you're telling somebody how to do something or you're telling people something, you got to kind of have that story, that story, that good storytelling mentality in your, you know, in your, in your delivery. You know, I think that's part of it too, is having a hot delivery. Yeah, you know, um, a lot way. of your best, a lot of the very best rappers of all time could tell a story poetically so good, mm-hmm. so precise that it just made them unbelievable. And when you heard the song, you were just like, man, I relate to that. So, you know, you got to have a clear, precise message, a hot delivery. You know, that's that's something that makes a commentator strong. Here's, here's the one thing that I want to say. Okay. When people see your videos, mm-hmm. they should feel better about themselves or feel better seeing your video or a- after they're done with the video, you should, you should, like the people that have seen your video should feel better about themselves or feel better about their day or better about, they should feel better about the information you gave them, you know, maybe you helped them step their game up. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, a great commentator can hype up the, um, the viewer. A great commentator yeah. can hype hype up a person. Yeah. And the point that I'm making is, when you start to to pump people up, you there's got to be a way that you can make people feel better about themselves somehow. Make them feel smarter. Make them feel hyped up, excited about playing the game you're showing them. And also, you know, make them think. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I think all four of those men just dropped some serious knowledge and some serious wisdom. I hope you all can take something away from it. And in case you might have forgot some of the things that was said, here's a quick wrap up on what makes a good commentator. Somebody who's genuine, who's original, you know, somebody who's different, somebody who's got a precise message. At the end of the video, they make you feel good about yourself. You got to be entertaining and uh, you got to have something to talk about. You got to be true to the people, man. You gotta be true to yourself. Don't be fake and move. That's what makes a good commentator. The realness, the be an all-around commentator, not just one-dimensional. Connect with yourselves, man. That's one of the most important things. Content, charisma, personality, gameplay. Uh, if you do gameplay videos or 
and then also interaction with your subscribers too that helps well there you have it that's what makes a good commentator just gotta give a big thank you to azure effect c nasty hard eight times and shakedown thank god for another great video this is your boy jason and up for discussion stay blessed live and love life deuces